What's going on, Sniper and Verdom fans and all you big, big, sexy supporters out there? My name is Derek, and my gamer tag alias is Fordom. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. Dewey's out. He's waiting on a package. Alex just come here. About to, they're about to work out. Oh my God, it's so bad. There's Dom. Hi. Over there. What are you watching? Miss Peregrines. Yeah. Yeah. All right, anyways. So I've had a lot of requests, a lot of requests, to make cooking videos of all things. It's cool. Don't worry about it. I won't play video games no more. I'll just cook, like Salt Bay. Anyways, so tonight I'm going to be making uh, basically buffalo chicken macaroni and cheese. And some garlic bread. I'm gonna show you like different things that I do for mine and then like cheap ways around it. So here's all the ingredients that you guys are gonna have. You can get you some shells and cheese. A little bit of extra, extra bag of cheese, you need some red hot franks, chicken, probably about maybe a pound and a half to two pounds of chicken, some basil, some minced garlic, garlic powder, adobo, seasoning, and pepper, Worcestershire sauce, and butter. So basically what we're going to do first is we're going to put a little bit of olive oil up in here, into the pan, get, a, get enough up in here, you don't have to soak it, but enough to where it'll make it the chicken come out a little bit more and then go ahead and turn that on turn that on high there so we're gonna put the chicken in there we're gonna butter up the pan a little bit and cut up a pieces of butter put the chicken in there season it a little bit and then we're gonna throw it in the oven and let it bake for a while and then make it the macaroni and everything like that so don't forget to smack a like on this video right now and let me know down in the comments if you've tried this or a version that you have tried or you made yourself that you think is really good. This is a really cheap, quick, easy meal and it's pretty delicious. What we're going to do right now, we're going to go ahead and get some uh, butter up in the pan. You know, just probably about four of these, just place them, you know, just kind of do like a cross from each other, top and bottom, just like that, just enough to coat that with the olive oil. You can use virgin, you know, pure or light. Completely up to you, whatever you want to do. And turn this on. We're going to turn that on about eight. Um, and get the chicken. Uh, go ahead and pour in a little bit of uh, Worcestershire sauce all over the pan. Don't have to make it soak, but enough for the seasoning. It gives, it gives off great, great flavor, too. And right now, we're going to go ahead and slap these pieces of chicken in here. You can do this uh, multiple ways. Because it's a little chilly outside and I'm out, I would rather grill my chicken, but um, I'm out of propane, so I'm definitely not going to be grilling today. This is just another way, and it's, it's, it's a good... It's a good recipe. Tastes pretty good. Get this moved around, then go ahead and flip. Go ahead and flip your chicken around just once. That way, both sides are coated, coated, just like that. So basically, we're just gonna let this. We're gonna let this cook for a while. You're gonna, you're gonna want to cook this probably about I don't know, maybe about 15, 15 minutes in the crock pot, and then you're gonna do. You're going to do about another 15 to 20 in the oven. So we're going to go ahead and let this cook. You also kind of throw a little bit of uh, minced garlic on each piece of chicken. That way it's soaking, you know, a little bit in some, in some garlic on top of that. Let that cook about seven and a half minutes on each side. All right. Meanwhile, while this is cooking, I'm going to actually cut up some onion. I'm going to do uh, 
some onion on mine. Um, Dom, Dom, will, he's picky sometimes. Like sometimes he'll eat onions and sometimes he won't. Depends on how big of a chunks you know or the stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some onions right now because I'm gonna put them in mine. I like onion in mine. You don't have to. It's just something that that I like myself. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this over. I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the oven on about 400. The garlic bread requires like 425, most of them. Um, but I'm gonna go about 400 and we're gonna cook that chicken for about 15 minutes because we've already been cooking this for about 15 minutes, you know, searing and everything. So you're gonna see a nice golden brown look through this when I flip it over. Looks delicious and smells delicious. You have no idea. We're going to let that cook just a couple more minutes here, and then we're going to season it up before we put it up into uh, the oven, and then we'll go on from there. I'm going to take this out, and we're getting ready to season it up. It smells so good in the house right now. Go ahead and flip this once. Look at that. That searing is just perfect. That chicken already looks delicious the way that it is now. I'm going to put this on your pan. And I turned that, that off, but what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and throw these onions up there with some of that extra juice and that garlic, that minced garlic that's up in there. And we're just going to turn those a couple times and let them do their thing. So while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and a little bit of uh, adobo with Saison. I love this seasoning. This is a great seasoning. So you should basically, and it's still wet enough that you can... You can cover that top just like that. Some garlic. Cover the top just like that. Some pepper. A little bit of pepper. God, this smells so amazing. You guys have no idea. And then a tiny bit of basil right on top. Just like that. Chicken looks fantastic as it is right now. Um, uh, if you guys could smell this, it smells so good. We're going to go ahead and put that in there. We're going to get these onions stirred up a little bit right here. All right, let's go see what Dom is up to. What are you doing, bud? Watching a movie? Is it good? Does the house smell good? Does the house, the food smell good? Mm, you you going to be ready to eat in a little bit? gonna be good all right so we got that put in the oven we're gonna let that cook uh, for about like I said probably about 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes give or take however you like your chicken um, after that we're gonna pull it out I'm gonna chop it up we're gonna get the the macaroni and cheese going and we'll pour the cheese sauce in there throw the chicken in add in a little bit of butter and then the Frank's buffalo seasoning and then top it off with some cheese and get that garlic bread in. The chicken's been in now probably about 10 minutes and we're working on maybe a 15 to 20 minute thing. So we want to go ahead and put the water in, bring the water to a boil for your shells and cheese. So we're going to let that boil and then we're going to throw in the shells and cheese. Make it just like you regular would with any normal shells and cheese, just like you're making macaroni. And you'll set that off to the side, get your chicken cut up, you know, and then do whatever else you want to to doctor it up. So we're, good. we're trying to time everything out here, okay? That way it's all ready, you don't have to really wait. Go ahead and pull your, you know, you gotta pull your cheese sauce 
thing out, set it off to the side. Go ahead and get your, your shells up in there. I usually do a quick stir. Some people put salt in there. I don't really salt unless I need to bring down the boiler or something like that, but some people salt them. I don't. I'm not a big fan of salt. I don't use that much salt when I cook. I'd rather let other, you know, ingredients bring out the taste. So I'll show you what our what our chicken looks like right now as we speak. Let's get this thing pulled out and see what we're working with right now. Oh, it smells so good. Right now, that's what our chicken's looking like, and it looks delicious. I mean delicious. Go ahead and dump them in there. Just shake this around a little bit. You can pour whole cold water on there if you want to rinse off. Some people do that, some people don't. And then this is gonna go right back in, because we still have to do some mixing. So we'll leave this right here. We're going to go ahead and cut a couple things, slabs of butter in there, probably about maybe three tablespoons maybe. Got that there. And then what you want to do is go ahead and open up, see you dude. Go ahead and open up your cheese and pour it in. And then we're gonna pull in some buffalo sauce on top of that. So just go ahead and squeeze that all up in there. Make sure you get, use the, I mean, get your worth out of the pack, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put a tiny bit more pepper up in here. And then a little bit more garlic powder. Oops, don't wanna put that much in there. You can never go wrong with too much garlic, that's for sure. A little bit of garlic powder. All right, now we're gonna mix this part up just by itself, which smells phenomenal. We're gonna go ahead and pour in the Frank's Red Hot Buffalo. You wanna do about, maybe about half a cup, depending on your liking. I go a little bit less because of Dom. I mean, he likes hot stuff, but, and then, you want to get that mixed all up in there, just like that, okay? Like I said, you can make that as, as wet on the buffalo as you want. So now we're going to go ahead and get our onions up in here. Sorry, I'm using this with one hand, so... Look at how perfect that chicken looks. It looks phenomenal. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and you can cut this however you want. Wow, that's actually really tender as well. Wow, good stuff. This this is not a sharp knife by any means. The meat's really hot, so. Cut that down the middle like that. And then you just basically, you know, the shit's hot, so. I should have let that cool down. But you just cut into pieces like that. The flavor from this chicken is outstanding. So, what you're gonna do now, go ahead and throw this in, the macaroni and cheese. I still have a piece of chicken left, and that's for me. Mix this around. Get that soaked in even more flavoring. It's good. Take a bite. Is it good stuff? Yeah. How good is it? Good. <laughs> there you go. Thanks so much, Snipey for Dom fans and all you big, big, sexy supporters out there. Thank you once again. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment on it as it does help aid me to keep going on in my YouTube career. Also, don't forget, I do stream every single day on YouTube. 
around 11 or 11.30 a.m. Eastern time zone. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you go and check some of my other videos out. I love you guys. Have a great fucking day. Mwah!